All right, joining me now for the first edition of Coach's Corner in the 2017-18 season is Tom Kowal, head coach of the Knights. And uh, we'll jump right into it, Coach. We're here at main camp, day one. Uh, we just saw the first game. Uh, a lot of high-speed action out there. We saw a good high-scoring game to open things up. But uh, very early impressions so far of the first two teams you saw on the ice. You know, it, it, it's very evident that, uh, you know, my assist, uh, assistant coach, Andrew Whiteside and Justin Schreiber, the two guys are head up our scouting program and our recruiting, along with all our other guys that helped us. But they did a really good job this past year. They pounded the pavement. Um, we have, uh, you know, we have eight teams in here with a lot of great talent. It's going to mean it's a, it's a good problem to have, but it's going to. After watching game one, I, I thought I had a team already picked, and now I, I, there's three more games to watch. So, very impressed with the talent we have in this program. <clears throat> that the, uh, you know, our staff has gone out and got, and uh, I'm looking forward to game two, three, and four today. Sure. Now, obviously, coming off another uh, season where you guys went to the playoffs and uh, looking to build off year two. Uh, what was some of the, uh, well, really, what were some of the goals for our you know, the scouting staff out there, whether it was Andrew Whiteside or Justin Schreiber going out? What were you guys looking for in terms of players and skills? We're looking, we're looking to get a little bigger on the blue line. Um, you know, and, uh, and obviously we're looking for some guys who can score goals. You know, uh, you know, and, and, you know, but our very most important thing was goaltending. Um, you know, we lost Grant Valentine to, you know, off to college, you know, Miami there. And, uh, you know, you got to have a good goaltender. So we really put our uh, attention on that. But after that, it's, you build from the goalie out. We're looking to, you know, for some defensemen that can pick up a big role. We've lost a couple of main D to the USHL at college. And uh, goals win hockey games. <laughs> so we need some forwards that are going to score some goals. You know, and that's what we were, we were looking really, you know, we have uh, some good, you know, Curtis Carlson, Matt Kidney, mm -hmm. some guys, Dan Chango coming back here. Uh, you know, so we feel we have a pretty good nucleus. We just have to fill some holes, and uh, that's the job they had this past season on uh, replacing. Sure, and you have those returners coming back. You have your draft class and your tenure class, a lot of those members in the building today. Uh, but what do some of the invites that, you know, not necessarily were on the radar for the all off season here, what do they have to do to kind of distinguish themselves to make a roster? You know, just be who they are. I mean, you know, we can only tender so many kids. We can only draft so many kids. At the end of the day, there's a lot of great hockey players out there. You know, and, and you know, we just, sometimes you didn't see a kid enough to really, in, you know, invest a draft pick or a tender, but we invested in, our, in, in an invite to come to our main camp. And it seems like every year I've been doing this for 15 years that a kid that we didn't draft, we didn't tender, they've never played a game for me in my life, makes my team. So, you know, it, it, it's just that blue chipper that no one knows about that slid through the cracks that comes out here and has a real good weekend and practices our staff and ends up being that Wilkes-Barre night, you know, in the upcoming season. Now, lastly here, Coach, you talked about that nucleus coming back. Uh, those players that are returning, um, what do you look for them in this type of situation as, as leaders or as players setting a tone out there on the ice? They're the ones who set the tone. They, they sent the benchmark. It's, it's their job right now. You know, and I told them that, you know, I, I uh, you know, veterans have to be veterans. You know, they're not rookies anymore. They're not first or second. They're, those are the guys that have to lead the charge. And if they don't, if we don't have good leaders, we're not going to have a good hockey team. So, you know, it, you know, we're, I've really been pretty hard on my veterans this past summer to make sure they're working out, make sure they're getting ready. But you know what? Uh, for the first game so far, I've seen you know Matt Kidney and you know Dan Chaco out there. Uh, it's been I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way my my veterans are looking right now. Even walking in in their clothes, they look bigger. You know, you know. We, uh, they're buying into that thing that the organization is saying right now. It's making playoffs just isn't good enough anymore. We're going into our third season. You know, we're round one isn't good enough. We need round two. We need a Robinson Cup, uh, you know, a trip, uh, you know, if we're going to be successful this season.